If you've been doing embroidery for several years now, you probably have noticed that thread prices have gone way up. This has many embroiderers freaking out because after all, an increase in your thread prices, which is part of your input cost into embroidery, could cause a sharp drop in profit margins. But what's really causing this increase in thread costs and should you be worried? Well, spoiler alert, in today's episode, I'm going to be telling you why I'm not phased at all by this increase in thread prices and why you shouldn't be either. So watch this video all the way from start to finish because the answer might catch you by surprise. With all that being said, let's jump into it. All right, you guys, my name is Henry Ma. I'm the CEO of Recoma, and we've helped thousands of entrepreneurs and businesses start and grow in the apparel decoration industry. If you're new here, consider subscribing to this channel to keep up to date with new videos as soon as they're released. And if you enjoyed this content and found this information helpful, I would greatly appreciate it if you smash that like button and give this video a thumbs up. So let's start off by answering the question, why has the thread cost gone up and how much exactly has it gone up by? So thread costs have gone up for a variety of reasons, including inflation, supply chain issues, and a higher demand in apparel decoration overall. Over the last year or so, we've seen record high inflation in the last 40 years, and all of that has been exacerbated by supply chain issues as well. And with supply chain issues, it has definitely made it a lot more difficult to have enough supply of threads for embroiderers to purchase here in the US. On top of that, growing demand for custom apparel, and especially embroidery overall, has gotten embroidery to scramble around for threads and other supplies that they'll need to complete orders, therefore also driving up the demand and the prices. It was only a few years ago that you can pick up a 5,500 yard cone of embroidery thread for around $7 a cone. Now that same cone of thread costs a little bit over $10 per cone. That's a whopping 42% increase in price in just a couple of years. While you can purchase other spools of threads for $5 to $6 per cone, you don't get nearly the same amount of thread, and the threads that you get might have a difference in quality. So on the surface, this, it seems like a 40 plus percent increase in just a couple of years. The reason I'm not phased at all by this drastic increase in the thread prices is because when you break it down onto a per thousand stitch cost in your thread prices, the input cost increase is actually very, very minimal. In fact, even if the thread cost more than doubles and almost triples to $20 per cone, your cost per thousand stitches of thread is gonna be less than two pennies. Now that might seem like a bold statement, but let's break down the math to see what's the reality behind the numbers. To start off with, there are about five million millimeters of thread in a 5,500 yard cone of thread. If a cone of thread costs $20 per cone in our example, and you divide that by the five million millimeters of thread that's in there, each millimeter of thread will cost you roughly 0 0.000004 cents. You heard that right, that's five zeros after the decimal point, so it's really just a fraction of a penny in terms of your cost per millimeter. Now the average length of a stitch is around four millimeters, so if you multiply your per millimeter cost of thread by four and then by a thousand, this will get your cost per thousand stitches of thread to a whopping 0.16 cents. Your average cost per thousand stitches is less than two cents. This is simply negligible and a drop in the bucket and nothing to be phased about even if thread prices almost triples in cost. This is because embroidery is actually quite unique in the sense where input prices such as thread cost and other supply costs into the embroidery process makes up a very small fraction of the overall cost of producing that item compared to other apparel decoration methods like direct to garment printing, screen printing, and sublimation. Embroidery is well known for its input costs such as threads, bobbins, etc. being so negligible of the overall cost of doing the project and that's what makes it very attractive to a lot of decorators. 
So should you be worried about a 40 plus percent increase in threat costs? I would say no, because the increase is not worth your time to even address it because less than two pennies of increase in cost is not going to kill your business and you have more things and better things to worry about than two pennies of increased costs. In fact, you should be thinking about how you can be more efficient in the embroidery process, either by having better equipment, faster equipment, larger capacities to be able to pump out more orders and save the time that it takes you to turn around an order. Because the more productive you can be and the more efficient you can be in your production process, the more profit per hour you can make in your apparel integration jobs. You should also ditch the stitch count rule when determining how to price your embroidery items as that's very outdated and you can end up underpricing most of the time. In fact, if you don't know about the stitch count rule and why it's not useful and what you should do instead, you should check out this video I put in the card above and down in the links below where I talk about how you should actually think about pricing your embroidery items. I also give you a free tool called the profit calculator that we've created here at Ricoma where you can plug in different variables of your cost and see how that that affects your bottom line. It can also give you some guidance on how you should be pricing your items depending on your capacity and the types of items you're looking to do. You can download the profit calculator absolutely free down in the links below and there's a video on this channel that will show you how to use the profit calculator so you can follow along and input your own numbers and see what you get. I've put that video in the card above and down in the links below as well. All right, so what are the final takeaways for today? While rising threat costs might seem like a big deal, it actually doesn't affect your business all that much. Your cost per stitch is still very, very low, and even as threat costs go up even higher, you probably won't notice the difference. This is because the input cost of thread into the overall embroidery process is so negligible that it's not really considered a major part of your overall costs. Instead, focus on how to be more efficient in your production process, how to maximize your profits by pricing your embroidery correctly, and all of the other stuff that comes with running a successful business. Speaking of being more efficient in the production process, if you're interested to learn more about the tips and tricks and different hacks that you can implement into your production process and embroidery to make you go faster, make sure to check out this video I put in the card above and down in the links below where I go over with you different efficiency tips that you can implement on your embroidery machine. All right, that's it for us for today, guys. I hope you found this information helpful and that after watching this video that you're not phased at all either Either about the rising embroidery thread cost that seems to have a lot of embroiderers freaking out. If you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you keep up to date with new videos as soon as they come out, and give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Make sure to follow us on all of our social channels down below. We're active on Instagram and on TikTok for some entertaining content, and you can stay up to date with the latest trends happening in the world of decorated apparel. Last but not least, make sure to join our free Facebook group, Embroidery and Custom Apparel Mastery, where there's now over 33 thousand apparel decorators in there sharing their tips and tricks of the industry and you can be a part of the conversation. All right, that's it for us for today, guys. Just remember, keep calm and embroidered on. I'll see you guys next time.